drawing the inverted star along the rocks arranged in five. First at the top left point and then down. That doesn't explain which way I have to go. Well, okay, never mind. Top left, so then it would be down from there. Got it, okay. Where was that again? Down here? I'm assuming so. Maybe not, maybe. Nope. So I have to find that... Ooh, you're right, check the save room. Ah. <laughs> you're very, very right. Hey. So there's three bosses, I'm assuming? Or maybe even four, like a final boss. One of them is missing! Ah, yeah! Hmm. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> but now, I went there and I did that thing so we can go up this way. This is the way we have unlocked. What the fuck do I do? Demon die! Uh, fuck. Mortis. There's no way to escape him. There's no way to escape him. How the hell am I gonna do that? Okay, I'm gonna try something. I'm just gonna hold this down quick. Yeah! Violator. <laughs> I don't know how I did that, but I did it. I literally just went and put. <laughs> we got him. <clears throat> Nobody was thrilled when I got pregnant. Not even a little happy. Even my doctor seemed to be judging me. Each time I'd leave the doctor's office, I'd see these strange women across the street. All. Oh, this strange woman across the street. All she'd do is stare at me and smile. No words, just a big, warm smile. Somehow it made those visits a little more bearable. After I lost the baby, I saw her again across the street from the doctors. Her smile was as big as ever, but somehow not as warm and friendly as I remember. Yesterday, I was walking and was shocked to see the woman standing in the middle of the path. Now she was pregnant. She beckoned towards me. I followed her off the path into the woods. That's when I met Gary. Okay. <laughs> Gary loves me? Well, we know Gabriel. We know... John. We know Michael. I don't know who Gary is yet. But, because I did that so fast and so fluently, I'm gonna go ahead and save the game again. But I also need to find where the... the star is. Yeah, he's gone. So there's only one left. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna try something. Because there's also the way down here. And this had, didn't seem to have any significance yet. Maybe I'm wrong. What the fuck am I doing? <laughs> I'm just standing. No way! Ah! <laughs> I don't know how the fuck I did it. I just stood in one place for two of the battles. Losing Grandpa was the hardest thing I've ever experienced. We were really close. I cried about it for weeks. Then my stepmom introduced me to some of her friends. They asked me, would you like to go, would you like to see your grandfather again? I missed him so much. I was willing to try anything. That night, my stepmom drove me to one of her friend's houses. They took me down to the basement. I saw my grandfather in there. Only it wasn't actually him. When I tried to run, they closed the basement door and locked me in. I can't remember much else from that night. My stepmom's friends are always coming by the house now. They tell me I have a debt to pay. They say they have work for me to do. That's fucking creepy. <laughs> so that's the fetus, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to the save room and if everything has been as it's been, then there's gonna be no one else in there. And I also only have one way to go and it's up. Oh, shit, what's that? It's me, with the key. Oh, I stabbed myself in the eye with it! 
Oh, I'm leaving a blood trail because of my eye. What if I just continually went in a circle? Would this just be like a pool of blood? Decrypt. I'm backing. Thank you, Gabriel. I'm just gonna make this a nice big pool of blood. Leave my uh <laughs> leave my trace, as they say. If anyone comes down here, they'll go, oh, this is a nice big pool of blood. I wonder who left that. And they will never know it's me. Alright, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay. So is my eye actually bleeding or is my mind is imagining this shit? I would imagine that I'm not actually bleeding, but I have the key now, so I'm gonna lock the door. Well, shit. You gained a key as a blood gift from your reflection. Shut up! <laughs> Thank you, Gabriel. For your gift. I feel like I've been here before. Have I? Have I been here? I feel like I- yeah. No, maybe not. I can't get through there because he's blocking, so I have to go around. So I feel like I'm gonna go around, but first I wanna just... Oh wait, do I pay attention? None of them are pointing, necessarily. That one kind of is, but... Okay. So we're still in the cemetery, but it has the trees like before- Oh, well that's not a fucking tree. Okay, so... the music is gone. The tree demon's out there. The little twin guy is running around again. Okay, here's this. She guards the door to underground purgatory. I have not seen her. Children fear her. I'm gonna just. The twins are a subplot. Oh, they actually called the twins? <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> lunch. <laughs> the twins are lunch. Confess thy sins. Oh shit. I kinda don't want to be in here. I kinda wanna walk out. And I don't want to do this. Oh, a uh, little note though. Hmm. So much reading. <sighs> day one of our uh, day one of our paranormal investigation into the old snake Meadow Hill Church. We've got three cameras, a box of tapes, and enough beer and beef jerky to last us a week. I really want some beef jerky. I really want some. I might go get some beef jerky after this stream just because I fucking want some. Also, I'm just realizing now that I didn't eat food today. Shit. Shit. <laughs> I had coffee and water. That's all I had to eat today. We humans don't eat food. <laughs> On our way in, we asked some of the locals about the church. It was mostly the stories we had heard before. Evil spirits dragging children into the cornfield and secret tunnels under the chapel. But there was this spindly lady game that hadn't hurt that we hadn't heard yet. Apparently, it has to do with summoning the spirits of a woman who used to take care of the orphans back in the 50s. There was even an old rhyme they told us. Walk the church from room to room, and maybe you will see her. She will move when you do, but never try to trick her. Awesome. We're going, we're going to try the game tonight as soon as we get settled in. All right, uh, let me just see what's going on with these little things. If I step on this candle, it's going to put them out. Nah, I can't. I can't light them either. I can't light them with the light of the Lord. Uh, am I about to just leave? Oh, Ooh. something just... There's a trap door right there. I saw it. I saw it. You can't fool me. I'm gonna go this way, I think. I'm gonna go up to the front. Can I light this? With like Gotcha! Bitch! Whoa! More this. Well shit. I have to go back and do all the things. Okay, good. Interesting. How am I going to kill this thing? It, like, sprints at me. So I'm curious how I'm going to do this. Let's go and do my thing. 
What? What? Wait, what? It's not happening again. Interesting. Um, the candles are a hint. Curious what you mean. Night two. We're gonna be rich. We've caught supernatural stuff on camera before, sure. Doors opening on their own, things falling off of shelves, but nothing like this. Tonight, while we were trying the spindly lady game, again, one of the candles on the floor lit up by itself as soon as Lars walked into the room. It was nuts, and we got it all on film. We're gonna make a fortune selling this to the TV stations. Are these people? There, there are only three people so far that I've heard that I have spent the night here. Are they the th same three people that were in the crypt? Hmm. The candles are a hint. Like, I tried to light this with my crucifix, and that's when the thing appeared, but it's not appearing anymore. So I don't know why it isn't. They're the same nature room. Explore. Sure. I'm just curious why the same thing didn't happen. Again. Hmm. Don't know what to tell you. Going in here? Oh, shit. Hey, it's one of the things I'm gonna... Uh, it might be another boss battle. Oh. Yeah, a skull? Can I... Yeah, I can. Yep. Do it. Night three. Shouldn't have come here. Tape's missing. Lars stuck behind basement door. Henry hasn't come back yet. Can't leave anyway. Shit. Interesting. Was that a, a was that? Stop! The music just keeps stopping. Your throat will thank you, honey and caramel. I probably will. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Okay. Very curious of that. One candle there. Gotcha, bitch. Bye. I'm out of here. Oh, fuck. I can't. Blah! That's right. Yeah! Gotcha. Three. Gotcha. Yeah. Whoop! Boing, got you there. Okay. Jeez, you're taking a lot of hits. Gotcha. Oh. Oh, I see the candles. Okay, got it. So if I go up here. Watch the candles. So if the candles light up, then that means they're... Get the fuck out of here, bitch! Bye. Oh wait, what's that? I need, I need to do it. I need to do it on that. I'm sorry. I'm risking my life. But I need to. Nope. Okay. I, I wanted to see what that little white thing was up there. I am, however, gonna go and... Nope. Okay, I'm dipping. I'm out of there. I'm dipping like dipping dots. Bye. I killed that thing though, so. Ah. Alright, we're good to go. Ah! I read the note. It said the thing's locked in the basement, so if I go down there, I might be locked in. Darkness surrounds thee. This is my final memoir. Hastily scribbled on a page of the good book. I now descend the staircase, knowing full well that she waits for me ahead. Checking my old watch has revealed something quite astonishing. Time doesn't change down here as we know it on the surface. Even now the hands don't move past two. God's work be done. I have been to where only the faintest lights shine and protect from things unspeakable. God help me, Father Clark, a foolish old man. Going mad in this dark prison, ears bleeding from the screams of the demon. Here we go. Oh, God. 
Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck me. Oh, there's something down there, all right. We're going to follow him. Oh, my gosh. What the fuck does that mean? It is a puzzle. Do I need to take a screenshot? <laughs> my memory is not that good. Galax says, wait. Got to wait. Oh, that felt good. Oh, my gosh. When I, when I drink something, if I push on my throat, it, like, hydrates my throat more than just a regular drink. That was weird. Galax says, go back upstairs. I think he wants to show you something with the confession booth. Oh, cool. I'm assuming the confession booth is up here, right? No. Oh, it's uh, it's down. It's down. It's the confession booth with the red curtain, right? I'm there. What would you like me to do? What kind of spirits would you like me to conjure up? There will be a purple kid. You need to bring them to the confession booth. Walk into it to the left. I thought I did try walking into it. Yeah, I can't walk into it. Do, do not do that. The left. Oh, this one. Got it. Pray for me, Father, for I have sinned. What seats have you yet to confess? I tried to save a girl from evil, but my fears overcame me. I turned my back on the ministry and broke my vows to God. Woo! A year later, the girl reached out to me again, but in the end, I couldn't save her. I left her to die. I am sorry for me and my past sins. Thou hast said will. Here is my penance. Bring the child to me. Perform the sins of the attrition. And thou shalt have the peace thou seekest. Give thanks to the Lord for him to for his mercy and pierce forever. What the fuck am I- where am I now? You're a demonic church. Are you sure bringing the child to him is a good idea? I'm pretty sure I don't trust that squiggly red text that looked like blood writing. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that, Galax. I'm on the same page as Gabriel. I'll just say run. <laughs> oh, yes. There we go. Give me this. Night one. We still haven't found a way into the basement, but we found something just as cool. A secret passage in the old confession booth. That was, that's a weird way that it looks like those dots, but in the old confession booth leading to this hallway, Henry's going into town to buy a crowbar. He didn't come back. We'll see if we can't get these boards off some of these doors. But that's not even the best part. We caught an EVP. You can't hear it on tape very well. But to us, it kind of sounded like laughing. Thank God we brought the nice mic. We'll review it on the sound gear once we get back into the town. Oh, really? I need to do it for the true ending? Oh, interesting. Okay. Good to know. I checked the guide bringing the child into this thing as a sin. That's what I was thinking. Like, I don't want to. It doesn't sound like it. You don't want to do that. Okay. I'm also putting on my back brace because I'm an old man. <laughs> Judo, I'm going to give you a heads up. Galax has a reputation for just kind of saying things without diving super deep into them. So that's why I'm like, I'm, I'm inclined not to believe Galax. Just get a move on. <laughs> okay. Sounds good. I'm so happy I'm gonna go tell 7 a.m. playing this. I see. You have to open the curtain and then bring the child in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's get out of here. Okay, what is this again? A dial of some sort? I don't know. Okay, bye. Audio cues, right. I'm very confused. I'm going to assume that this has to do with this. Because they're all the same symbols. <sighs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, is that a clock? It must be. So, the bottom would be 6, the top would be 12. It's like a sundial type thing. 
I'm going to try to just, I guess, go in order from 12 all or all the way around. So football looking thing, circle H X. That's my memory is so bad. Oh my God. What? What am I supposed to do?